and welcome back to the vlogs. It is 2022, first vlog of the new year, and we're in a very slow start to the new year. And I feel like probably not alone in that. From everyone that I've talked to, I feel like the first couple weeks, first of all, like everyone and their mom was sick. Like at least around where I live, I feel like everyone was sick. And now that we're, I don't even know how many days into the new year, 16 days into the new year, I feel like I'm finally just getting like settled in and started. And yeah, but it's Sunday. I figured I would do a little Sunday vlog. Um, I don't know, a little rest and reset, errand running day today. Um, it's already 12.30. Having my matcha. I already had a coffee and walked Duke and had breakfast and tidied up the house, but we're getting the day started. Slowly but surely. I will say this is also like the first, well maybe not the first week, but I don't know, like the first week that I've really felt settled in to like our new apartment in our new city. If you're new here, um, I moved out of Los Angeles like six weeks ago, six weeks ago, um, to San Diego. So not too far, um, but we kind of moved in between the holidays. We moved right at Thanksgiving and then we kind of had like the first week and a half where we were like unpacking and settling in. But then obviously it was like Christmas and the new year and we were gone and traveling and like celebrating the holidays and all of that stuff. And then we kind of were just like exhausted for the first like week and a half of January. So I feel like this past week has been finally like settling in to the new place and actually feeling like I'm in a new city and not just on vacation. I, I don't know, I don't know if this is like a normal thing when you move to a new city, but it for sure feels pretty surreal at first. It just like doesn't feel real. It feels like you're gonna go back to your old city like soon and you're just on like an extended vacation and it's just kind of this weird feeling and I feel like it takes a minute to just I don't know, truly start to feel that, like the reality is setting in, I guess. I don't know. But Richie and I were talking last week, we went out to dinner and we were talking all about like making friends. And we were talking about how hard it is as an adult, like when you're no longer, like when you no longer have circumstantial friends, like high school, college, you're in like a sport or a club, or if you're in college, like maybe Greek life, like throughout your entire like childhood and like beginning of an adulthood, you're kind of like always in these situations where it's very easy to make friends based off of like your circumstances and what you're doing. So like all the friendships are very circumstantial. And then when you become an adult, friendships are way like more few and far between and you like care about different things and it's a lot more about like quality not or yeah quality not quantity but then also friendships take so much more effort because you're not like running into them and in, like at classes or at like whatever club you're in or whatever so like you actually have to go out of your way to get in touch with people and like be friends with them and then even after that sometimes you might realize like you don't click so it's like this exhausting hamster wheel until you find like your people and I feel like that's kind of where we're at right now um this past week was definitely my first week like realizing I don't have like very many friends down here and that I'm like a lot farther from my actual friend like not actual friends like my friends in LA I feel like it's dawning on me how far I am. And I know LA is like a two, two and a half hour drive from where I am, which is I was like, I'm gonna be up here all the time, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm kind of realizing like how far that is and definitely started to sink in, like a little lonely, a little like the reality is setting in of us being in a new city and like moving and you know having to put in the effort to make friends and all of that and like Richie and I were laughing because we were at dinner and we were talking about how like brainstorming how we were going to text people that we kind of knew and I would be like okay 
you can text this person and ask them like this and then maybe we can invite them to this in a couple weeks and then i was like okay i'm gonna text this girl that i know and i'm gonna invite her to this thing or i'm gonna see if she wants to do this or like and we were just brainstorming like excuses <laughs> to text people and hang out with people and we were laughing because we were like here we are in our late 20s spending like an hour and a half at dinner just brainstorming <laughs> how we're gonna make friends and i know as an adult i'm not the only one that struggles with this obviously my circumstance is like because i moved and i don't know very many people here because it's like just a new place and a new city and like a new time in my life um but also i know sometimes like you don't have to move to feel like alone or lonely or like that you don't have very many friends and i know especially over the past like two years with everything that has been going on so many people have like moved and changed cities and like all of this stuff so even if you haven't left like i know that so many people's lives have shifted so much even just with like their friends leaving or their family leaving and all of that stuff so just want to say you're not alone if you're struggling if you're feeling just like lonely or in need of like friendship or community or like whatever it may be or maybe it's just even the fact that you have friends but you've like grown to be a different person i think sometimes that's even harder to like have friends and realize that you guys like aren't the same people anymore and then you feel like lonely within those friendships so i don't know i feel like it's something that Every time I've ever talked about it or brought it up, a lot more people are like struggling it or are struggling with it and can like relate to how hard it is to make friendships and keep friendships and how hard it is to feel lonely. I don't know. So I just wanted to say you're not alone, but we'll see how it goes. When I moved to LA, I like dove into finding friends. I went to anything and everything that I could go to. I met up with like anyone that ever wanted to go on a coffee date i was just like i need to find friends <laughs> and i think this time around it's a little bit different obviously i'm like five years older than i was when i first moved to la um so i like know what i want out of a friendship i know like it's easier for me to pick up when i click with people and when i don't so i think this time around i'm just going with a little bit more of a slow and steady wins the race kind of thing i'm also can get very exhausted i am like an extrovert i actually do get a lot of energy from like going out and talking to people and having a good time but it can be really exhausting when it's like the wrong people when it's people that are just like draining or like trigger my social anxiety or any of that stuff so it's just it's just a lot i don't know why i'm like looking out this way instead of at the camera i'm just literally like gazing at the skyline <laughs> um anyways on today's agenda i'm actually gonna go run to the store right now i'm gonna go to target i want to try and find some throw pillows for like our bed just like decor pillows to like tie it all in um we actually got a new bed which i'm very excited about very very excited and we just got it in the mail so i have to bring that up or make richie bring it up because i can't carry it so we're hopefully gonna put our new bed in and we got new pillows and a new duvet so we're gonna find hopefully at target some good throw pillows to tie the whole room together and then i want to try and run to a bookstore which i realize i'm not even sure if that there there are bookstores to pick up a new book i've been on like a reading kick recently and i just finished my last book so i want to grab something new to read and that's it all right not much luck in the pillow department but i did find these and this one that i thought could be cute like over this and i could do like these two side by side and then this one in the middle I don't know I literally hate picking out pillows because I feel like throw pillows are such a commitment like just ties the whole room together and it's like is this what I want I don't know but there's not much happening in the pillow department yeah. right, here's the target haul I did manage to find pillows they're like lumbar pillows but they were a bit short so i got two of them i couldn't find like big fluffy pillows but we honestly already have 
a bunch so I think that these will be like good layering pieces and then I got like a mini kind of like tan linen one to go in front of them and then I also got a couple new books because you guys were on a big reading kick so my goal is to do like a one self like help make your life better book and then read one of the Harry Potter books and watch the movie and then read just like a for fun book so this is my self-help book it's how to do the work recognize your patterns heal from your past and create yourself and then these two are been on my list for a minute and they come so highly recommended it's people we meet on vacation I just actually read beach read which is Emily's other really good book so pick this one up and then this one I feel like I've heard incredible things about so I don't know which one I'm gonna start first but this is what we're working with okay and then the last two things that I got I picked up the Casa Luna uh, linen pillowcase set we just got an extra set of pillows and I needed a new pillowcase set we currently have the Brook linen ones and then I also just got um, a new parachute comforter and then I've also heard that this is a really good dupe for both of those brands and it's a bit more affordable still definitely pricey it was literally $60 for these two I thought it was 25 until I checked out so that's kind of rude but I figure now that I have a Brook linen and a parachute and the Casa Luna I can do a good old comparison once we kind of sleep in them and then I also found this candle which is so unnecessary but it smelled really good it's like floral and rosy and it's really big and I thought it could make a really cute tray when it's done burning so that is your Target haul you guys okay now we're going to do the bed now that I have some throw pillows that we like or hopefully like We'll see, I'm gonna keep the tags on them for a couple days and like sit with them, but I'm gonna wash all of our bedding and then we're gonna go grab our new bed. So wiped. Oh God. I actually have a old vlog from probably like over a year ago of our old apartment and getting the bed that we have now and we had a queen two years ago and then when we moved into our old apartment we finally had a room big enough to upgrade to a king which I had always wanted so that's what we did but um, we ended up switching so we, we had a little mattress in our first apartment and then we just needed something a bit more affordable and I kind of wanted to try something different and I'm not the biggest fan of it um, it's just a very firm and very hard and I feel like just not super comfy and like kind of leaves you like sore which is just not fun when you have a bed so decided to switch it up and we went back to the lull because I we there was nothing wrong with the lull when we tried it before we really 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 liked it um, I don't think it has like the same longevity that like obviously very expensive mattresses have because the lull is still like a middle of the road but it's definitely at a higher price point than the Zenus that we have now so long story short i literally was just not happy with the bed that we have now and i have been wanting to change it or change out our bed and get a new bed for at least like probably since last july so we finally pulled the trigger now that we're in a new apartment we got a new bed we got a new duvet we got some pillows so we're gonna put it all together My brother got this for me for Christmas and I've been using it in just like our sheets and linens. I literally just put a drop in. Oh, it's not even. I literally just put a drop in. 
literally just put a drop in and it makes your sheets smell so good. I also want to get the rose one. This is so tall. It's pretty perfumey, so you don't need a lot, but I'm obsessed. the next it's actually a good idea that we leave it in here for a bit since we have guests coming over Phase two, drag this into the room. Do we need to let it, oh, I guess we do that on top of the thing. Yeah, we have to open it and then it like needs hours to um, open up. Or like. All right, got a box cutter or something? Yeah. They are just the cutest. You are the cutest boy I've ever seen in my whole life. Alright you guys, here is the finished bed with the pillows that I got from Target, our new bed, and then we have the new pillow and the new duvet cover, or duvet insert, I'm sorry, that we got from Lull. First night's sleep, it's Monday morning, so good, so much better. 
also the duvet so luxe and fluffy and we're obsessed but this is kind of what everything looks like so this is the castelluna pillowcase compared to the brooklyn and pillowcase that we had before they're pretty much the same color which is really nice so we can kind of use them all together without it looking too different this is like ever so slightly darker but not in a way that you can really notice um, my first impression is amazing i don't know why richie's side is so much wrinklier than my side but linen definitely tends to wrinkle more if you're not already aware of that um, but the casa luna i feel like is a bit thicker than the Brooklinen one which isn't necessarily like a good or a bad thing it's just personal preference linen tends to run really warm and really hot which is sometimes why people want obviously like a thinner more luxe feeling linen so this is just a definitely a bit like softer and cozier of a linen and this is a little bit more structured and thicker um, so I'm interested to see really how this one holds up as we wash it compared to these because the Brooklyn linen we've had for like a year and a half we wash it like every week or every other week so this has had a lot of like washes and wear on it and it still feels brand new which is why i'm obsessed with brooklyn and i think they're worth the splurge but this is a good dupe and it holds up then we will be so impressed so that's pretty much it for this little vlog kind of spilled into monday morning but I just got more more books <laughs> um and these derma planing foldable razors they look way smaller than i thought oh oh yeah because they're folded there we go this is what i use to um like shave my face at home like all the peach fuzz 10 out of 10 recommend your makeup will go on so smoothly takes like a second to get the hang of but i love them as for the books i may have overdone it a bit with purchasing the book i was just impatient which is why i ended up getting the books yesterday because i wanted something to start and i actually did end up starting um the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i think is what it's called and so far it's pretty good it's been like the amount of dms that i got i've never gotten that many dms about a book before in my life so you can see if that one's worth the hype but then also these i asked a couple of my friends who've been reading for like two or three years and these were like top recommendations ugly love by colleen hoover and then heart bones by colleen hoover so i'm excited for these and then my good old Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets too. I've never read the Harry Potter series before and I watched the um, reunion um, when it came out on January 1st and I'm sure like literally everyone, it like re-sparked me to want to watch the movies but I'd also realized I'd never read the books. So I just read the first one and then I watched the movie so that I could catch like the little differences and like changes in the plot line and stuff. So I'm gonna read hopefully hopefully read them all and then watch all the movies after to try and like pick up on everything from what i've heard the first like three books aren't that or the first three movies aren't that different from the book and then the longer books towards the end leave out like full like plot lines and like character development and like side stories and stuff like that so i'm excited to get like more into those books but i don't know really what came over me this year but she's turning into a reading gal i actually feel like i need to get myself a kindle but i told myself i needed to read like 12 books slash and consistently for three months before i got like the kindle paperwhite because sometimes i feel like i go through a reading phase for like a month and then i don't read again for like a year so i want to make sure that this isn't just like a phase and that getting the kindle would actually be worth it um so we'll see but we're like well on our way so but i will make sure to post like spoiler free reviews um just like my thoughts opinions good old rating on my instagram stories so if you don't follow me up with what should i wear give me a follow because i'll post all the reviews here we're burning through books you guys i also ended up posting on my story yesterday about kind of what i was talking about in the beginning of the vlog just about the feelings surrounding friendships and like making new friends and like life changes 
in our lives um, on Instagram and I have never gotten so many DMs before in my life I think um, about literally anything um, about how many of you guys like have struggled with it or are struggling right now or like are just about to start navigating that because you're just like about to move or your friends have moved and you're in the same place or even just like you've outgrown the friends that you have had and now you're kind of in this point of wanting to find new friendships so it's definitely really I don't know if cool is the right word but it feels a lot less lonely knowing that something that I think everyone experiences at some point or another throughout their adulthood and it can it get very hard and very exhausting like putting yourself out there and finding friendships but when you find the right people and it's people that like fill your cup and when you leave hanging out with them you feel like good and positive and happy and like motivated rather, rather than like drained or defeated or questioning yourself whatever it may be i think it's just like the year of like authentic friendships and like being authentically myself and hopefully yourself to find like the good friendships that we all need in our life um so i feel like i'm going about like this year a little bit differently and just being like more mindful and more patient with like where i spend my time how i spend my time who i spend my time with um all of that stuff and it's not like I just want to say this has nothing to do with like my current friends because they are my people I love them with my whole literally heart soul and being and I miss them so much um, but I definitely over the past like couple weeks have just realized how like far they are and that it's a lot obviously harder when you live in a different city to just like go and grab coffee or hang out or like go and work together and that kind of thing obviously we facetime like all of the time and i love my best friends so this is not like a i have no friends i'm feeling super lonely in that sense it's more of a like new city and i need to find my people here because as good as like all as good as friendships are long distance i think it's also important to make sure that you have friendships that you can like be in touch with in real life and like spend time with people and then it's not always like over the phone or facetime or like whatever so i also have plenty of people visiting over the next couple weekends and months and stuff like that so that's gonna be really fun to have everyone come down and visit and like see the city so i don't know i definitely am feeling very like blessed and thankful and like excited for the new year and the new city and like everything that it has in store like i just think it's gonna be crazy to look back on this year and like the beginning of 2023 and just see like everything that will happen like or has happened i guess if you're like looking back on whatever you know what i mean yeah here's to new friends and good vibes and putting ourselves out there getting outside of our comfort zone and living our best lives for no one else but ourselves in 2022 so i hope you guys love the first vlog um it's gonna take me a second i think to get back into the swing of vlogging um but i do want to start sharing a lot more just like weekend vlogs everyday things um morning rituals cleaning stuff just you know the good old everyday boring shenanigans that for some reason i just thoroughly enjoy watching other people so yeah gonna get back into the swing of vlogging and pulling my camera out and all of that good stuff so it'll be a fun ride so i will talk to you guys soon